on, Jonathan, make up. You just can't stay away from him, can you? How long did you last? Maybe two weeks, tops? Mom, you don't understand. Oh, honey, I understand. More than you know. I understand that Jonathan hurt you so badly that you took out a restraining order against him, and now you're going back. It doesn't matter, because this time, he won't take me back. Jonathan is pushing you away? He doesn't trust that I'm not going to leave him again. But this time, it's forever. Forever is a big word, honey. No, he's not perfect, but I don't expect him to be. Well, that's good, because there is no perfect man. I love Jonathan, Mom. And I want to be with him. Yeah, we have problems. Just like you did with Hart and Richard and Edmund, even Jeffrey. But you know, if we really work hard, really try, maybe we can work through them. I don't want to cut and run every time something goes wrong. I want to deal. I, I want to deal, and I want to make it work. Tammy, I... No, listen to me, Mom. You did everything you could to try to turn me against Jonathan. But I can't stay away from him. I won't. And maybe you want to lock me in the bedroom right now, but I... Tammy, can I, can I please say something? Please? <sighs> Honey. I am not going to try to keep you away from Jonathan anymore. You want me to be with Jonathan? No, I don't want you to be with Jonathan. But I won't get in the way anymore. Why? What changed your mind? I don't like who I am when I'm threatening you. And my job as your mother is to help you grow up and let you make your own mistakes. Your own decisions. And that is what I'm going to do. I love you. Oh, I love you so, so much. Baby, I love you too. Life is short, honey. I've been reminded of that a lot lately. Ross is gone, and Sandy, and you just, you never know what tomorrow might bring. And if my last words to you were, get the hell away from Jonathan and don't come home, I, I couldn't bear it. Neither could I. I'm going to make this work, Mom, for all of us. I am. That is if, um, Jonathan ever comes around. Paranoid much? I just want you to understand. Understand what? That you're just as psycho as everyone says you are? That this isn't a game to me. Me either. I need Coop in my life. I don't care. Is this how you treat all of your lovers? Stop saying that word. I think that it sounds very cosmopolitan. Maybe a little creepy, but... I think maybe you're a little creepy. I think that you should leave right now. What do you know about breaking into a room? I know that I'm not getting involved in your issues with Ava Lizzie. You and I are done. You think that you have this all figured out? But you are more screwed up than I am, and you know nothing about women at all. Well, that's not what you were screaming about the other night. <sighs> okay. Maybe you know a few things. But not about what goes on in their mind. If you are this easy, Tammy, she's going, she's going to take you for granted again. Listen to me. You need to make her want you. Want you the way that you wanted her. Obsessively. Passionately. Like a prize. Trust me, I know all about this. And from all your experience. <laughs> okay, how many times have you been in love? Mm, yeah, okay, see, I do have more experience than you, and I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tammy is nothing like you. Uh, okay, maybe she's not, but she's not like you either. You are hurt, you are angry, and you need to use that. You gotta make her suffer, Johnny. You gotta make her beg. You need to make her understand how much she hurt you. And how much she needs you. Mwah. It's me again, Jonathan. I get that you're mad about the restraining order. But just call me back. Please. 
Uh, I've got a little something that might cheer you up. Two tickets to the police charity ball. Come on, we could get all dressed up and we could go over there. It's like kind of late. Yeah, so we'll, we'll make a grand entrance. You can flirt with a few cops. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I've been thinking. I need to get out of the house and shake things up a bit. So come on, you can be my wingman. Any other night, I would say yes. What, but tonight you'd rather stay home and wait for the phone to ring? I can't help it, Mom. I need to act faster. I'm going to lose him. I need to make Jonathan see that I am sorry I hurt him and that I love him. But you know, how can I do any of that if he won't even call me back? Well, you could just tell him to his face. Hi. Hi. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Little mother-daughter bonding. She has been calling you and calling you. At least we know you're all right anyway. Please tell me you came so we can work this out. She pumping you full of reasons to leave again? Not this time. Really? We're okay, Jonathan. We're all okay. And I want you back. Are you coming back? I never left. I'm never leaving again. Cops on the way? No. You got a gun in your purse? No, I am not going to get in the way anymore. Nothing is. Not ever, ever again. Let's go back to the bar, okay? I want to move back in. We belong together. You know that, too. I wanted to make you wait. I wanted you to prove yourself. I'll prove it every day. And I wanted to hurt you, but I don't want to hurt you anymore. No. I'm ready to go. Hey, Mom, are you okay? Of course. I'm, honey, I'm fine. Look, you should go to that party. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass. No, no, you're not. You're gonna go upstairs and you're gonna put on your hottest dress. Well, I, I do need to shake things up. So you're gonna go? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Won't regret it. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Bye, Cassie. Bye, John. I just, I have one question. What made you change your mind? A little, um, <clears throat> friendly advice from a friend. Okay, slow down. Don't you want to, you know, talk? No. Nope. But I, I hurt you, Jonathan. I mean, if we talk about it, then we can get... We can get past it. I am past it. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry about the restraining order. I'm sorry. I'm not going to hold myself back anymore. We can make this work. It's just, it's all about trust. Jonathan. Trust. Yeah. If we trust each other, if we trust in our love for each other, then even the stuff that hurts won't be enough to split us up. It's trust that's going to keep us together. Make sense? All right, let's not get all carried away. I saw your mother uh, finger in the knife there a few times. Okay, but she didn't pick it up, and that's a big step. I mean, she may not like it, but at least she's not fighting us anymore. Mm, and what about me? Did I pass my test too? I mean, I didn't go running for the hills. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, Still earn some extra credit. Oh, really? How's that? <sighs> Follow me in the back, I'll show you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello? You and your stupid ideas. I don't have time to talk right now. Well, make time, because I just followed your advice about Coop, and I actually pushed them closer to Ava. They are planning their trip to England right now as we speak. That's tough, but it's not my problem. I need you. I need to see you. I need you in my bed, Jonathan, tonight. No way. Find a way. Or I am going to tell Tammy everything that we did. I mean everything. Did you hear what I just said? Everything okay? 
Yeah, yeah, it was um, my distributor. He gets all upset if you don't do the paperwork exactly right, so. But that can wait until tomorrow. I'm gonna concentrate on you. It's spreading. Just turn it off. Yeah, I was planning to, since you're planning to concentrate on Lizzie. What? It's Lizzie. She hardly ever calls me. I wonder what's up. Forget about Lizzie. Okay. Okay, no Lizzie, not tonight. How's that? Okay? Jonathan? You know what? I better call him back. Now? Yeah. New me, right? Trying to be the guy your mother won't hate. Trying to be responsible. I don't know if I like responsible Jonathan if he's going to leave me. Oh, responsible Jonathan will come right back. He promises. Okay. I'm going to hop in the shower. If you um, get back in a hurry, pay me a visit. Hello? It's me. There you are. I knew you'd call me back. I need some help to feel better. I, I, I just need a little bit of help to forget everything. That is all I'm asking. Then you can go back to Tammy and I will figure out how to deal with Ava on my own. I'm heading home. Meet me there, Jonathan, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? I need you. I want you. Here I am. Jonathan, I... Yeah, I know. But I'm here now, Lizzie, so... What's the rush? Jonathan? Hello? Where are you? Be right back. Okay. Guess I might as well just... Ooh. Wait a minute. Marina, hey, are you busy right now? Good, because I need to see you right away. Tammy? Marina? Hi. Oh, that's not for you, sorry. Oh, thanks. You know, uh, indecent exposure is a crime. Oh. Besides, you're not even supposed to be here. There's a restraining order. About that. Oh, you're back with Jonathan. <laughs> so why did you call me? To show off your back-in-love glow? Tell me how I can get that restraining order lifted. Okay. Jonathan's going to be back in a few minutes, and I just really want all this legal stuff cleared up as soon as possible. If you say so. So? You help me? Nope. You're gonna have to go down to the station and take care of that yourself. Okay. I will. As soon as possible. I just don't want any more bad stuff to happen to us, you know? Oh, ooh, you do like it a little rough, don't you? No way you want it. <laughs> you know, I love the danger, JB, but let's take it off the street. Coop and Stretch Armstrong are right inside. Well, I thought thrills are what you're after. You might be all smiles with Tammy right now, but I am looking to feel good, and you are more than qualified for the job. Anyway, it didn't take you too long to leave Tammy and come running. You're not here to hook up with me? What do I look like to you? One of your paid escort boys or your servants? I wish. You want something warm and cozy to come running when you call? Make nice with that ugly mutt. I am nobody's toy dog. Oh, but I do have a collar that would look so cute on you. If I were you, I'd start backing off right now. Oh, yeah? You think you can take me on, Lizzie? Who knows? I do. If you don't stay away from me and Tammy, take this little necklace you're wearing, and I'll wrap it real tight around your scrawny little neck. Well, there's nothing that you can do about the restraining order tonight. You have to take care of it in the morning. So, in the meantime, if I were you and your friend, I'd steer clear. Got it. Thought he would be back by now. 
Or maybe he lost track of time at the pond, biting the heads off of cute little ducklings. Okay, just because you're miserable doesn't I mean am everybody not else is miserable. Has... Some relationships just aren't meant to be. Besides, I want something simpler this time around. Well, good luck. Relationships take work. I mean, Jonathan and I, we had to fight my mom, half the town, even the courts. But if you love somebody... Tammy, don't get me wrong. I love you, okay? You are my bestest, most closest friend in the whole world. But when it comes to your taste in men... What? You want your role model? Yeah. Fine. Be happy, Marina. Whatever it takes, you deserve it. Well, thank you. Thank you for the good advice and the sodas. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get out of here before you know who comes back to his rose petals. Jerk. <laughs> oh. I'm glad that you're happy. Yeah, me too. All right. You needed me. I bailed you out of jail. I didn't ask for your help. But you needed me. And you needed me later that night, too. No, I don't. Okay, so what? So that, that means you're not going to help me now? I helped you plenty the other night. Yeah, and I helped you, too. I helped you feel better when Tammy hurt you. So? So you might think that you might care a little bit about what I'm going through. It was sex, Lizzie. That's it. Forget it or you're going to be sorry. No. You are going to be sorry, because if I call Tammy one more time... Yeah. Who do you think I am, Coop? You think you can hold that night over my head and I'm going to worry about it? I am not afraid. I don't care about anything but Tammy. I don't care if you disappear off the face of this earth. I wonder if anyone else would even notice. Oh, I can't believe I ever let you touch me. I hope that Tammy lets go of you, and I hope it's the real deal this time, because it'd be the best If you try and come between me and Tammy, I will think of something that will surprise you. Do you understand me? Yes, I do. Do you understand me? Yes, I do! Huh. That's enough! Get the hell off, all right? All right? Coop, keep him away from me. Did you see that look in his eyes? All I did was say that Tammy was better off without him, which is true. He just went crazy. I had no idea what he was going to do. All right, all right, look. I think you just need to take a walk, okay? You're going to get fantastic Frank and the rest of the police force? I don't need them to deal with you. Ooh, whatever you say, Henry. <laughs> I think Lizzie and I understand each other, so good night, everybody. Sweet dreams, Liz. Hey! Hey! Yo! Yo, yourself! <laughs> wow! You like? Yeah. What is all of this? This is home. Your home. Our home. Home, sweet home. Not all that sweet. <laughs> A little variety, huh? So, everything go okay? Everything go okay with what? Your distributor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. It just took longer than I thought it would. It's all right. You thirsty? Sure. Marina came by while you were gone. Oh, what did she want? Um, I called her to cancel the restraining order. Are you sure about that? Forbidden love is kind of hot. Mm, we're hot enough on our own. So it's over? I have to go down to the station tomorrow, but until then... Until then... Well, this court order is still alive, I think... I think we should just stay in tonight. You know, play it safe. Wouldn't want to tempt fate. Mm-hmm. It sounds good to me. You know, I can't quite remember where we left off before you had to go. Was it here? Right here. I love you, Tammy. I know. I love you, too. Works out pretty good, I think, don't you? I hope so. Do 
quit worrying, just everything's gonna be perfect. Hey, never leave me again, okay? I won't. Promise. I won't ever leave you, I promise. Why would I? Last chance I have to make Coop love me again. Gee, Tammy, are there gonna be clowns? You remind me again why I'm here? Because you're with me, and Coop's our friend. No, Coop is your friend. He just likes to throw punches at me. Okay, okay, no fighting with the birthday boy, I promise. Thank you. What, Tammy? Hey, Eva. The place looks great. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? How do I look? Bigger question, why are you here? I came to drop my girlfriend off at a party. If it's a problem, I can leave. I believe in second chances, Eva. I'm a big believer in not screwing things up the first time. What's this? Blow. <laughs> yeah, Frank. Blow. <laughs> Just do it for Buzz. It was so cool of him to throw this party for uh, I wish I could take credit for this, but I think it's Harley and Frank's doing. Uh, actually, it's not. Um, Ava, I thought this was something you did for Coop. Oh, oh, well, how would I pay for something like this? Maybe Coop's throwing the party for himself. Because huh. the invitation said it was a surprise party. So. Everybody looks surprised. Surprise! surprise. Oh, uh, uh, hey. <laughs> Uh, what's going on? Surprise, surprise, surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday, Coop. Try this again on the count of three. One, two... Lizzie, Lizzie. You planned this? You do not have to thank me. It was all my pleasure. I did it all for Coop. Tell me you were surprised. Uh, yeah, I was. Look, can we talk for a second? Lizzie, you and I are not together, right? This is is just too much, oh, okay? Oh. Did you see my dress? Do you like it? Tell me you've never seen it before. This is desperate even for Lizzie. I wonder what's gotten into her. Forget Lizzie. Let's go get a drink, okay? A little too tense in here. Listen up, everybody. We have a great surprise tonight. I have ordered everything that Coop loves. Tacos, burritos, taquitos. So just eat up, enjoy. I am going to go check with the cook. <laughs> ah, hang on a second. I'll help you with that. I speak restaurant. Oh, wait, that's right. Maybe we should drag Lizzie out of here. Save her from herself before she does something crazy. Just stay out of it. You can't. You don't know her like I do. I mean, when she wants something... She... Forget about Lizzie hard to do. Well, it would be a real shame if we let Lizzie wreck our night. <sighs> Nothing Lizzie can say or do could wreck our night. We are unwreckable. Lizzie. Oh, no, shh. I'm busy. Spying is not going to get your coat back. Neither is this party. You know, I thought you'd be a little more positive, especially since you and Jonathan are back together. I know you want to find love, Lizzie. Love? <laughs> Oh, you know about love. You know, if whatever you and your cousin have is really that great, then he would have never... Never what? I better go check on the cake. It's a new flavor. You're adventurous. You like to try new things, right? What was that all about? Chick is... Psycho, just steer clear of the audience her. who isn't afraid of swords. Use it on the little one in the red dress. Oh, oh, come on, it's you love magic. It's your birthday. Your birthday. Come on. Out of order. Right, let's use the stairs. Okay, come on, I like magic. This is such a, it's such a magical evening, isn't it? This is the strangest bowling event I've ever been to. Yeah, I've been to some weird ones, but this is quickly climbing the charts. Why are you doing this to me, you little troll? Oh, there you go, Coop. Uh, all right. <laughs> The birthday boy makes the first cut. Come on, come on. I can't say enough good things about the guest of honor. He... He changed my life. Oh! 
open. Make oh, a wish. Uh, uh. <laughs> what? What was that? Oh. Ava, what happened? Lizzie! Oh, don't even try! Tell, tell me what you did! Lizzie! Tell him! What happened to Ava? No, tell him what you did for me! What did what you, you do? No, 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 some receipts and then I'm gonna buy you breakfast come with me hmm. flunking out or scrambled eggs well you could um, earn some extra credit later in professor Randall's anatomy class you are so lame hey. hello Tammy study hall Jonathan speaking oh yeah uh, she's right here Hey, Mom. Tammy's study hall? Inside joke. What's going on? Where are you? Outskirts. Okay, well, stay there. I'm gonna be right over. Is everything okay? Everything's great. I'll explain everything when I get there. Well, why can't you just tell me now? Okay, so I'm leaving for Oklahoma today. Why? Cross Creek. It's about to be restored to its former glory. Uh... Don't you need to check with Olivia before? We'll explain the rest when we get there. Uh, wait, we who? Your Uncle Josh and me. We'll see you in a few. Hmm. Ready? What, see more of Tammy and Jonathan together? I can hardly wait. Hey, if I can handle it, you can handle it. <laughs> so, Josh and Cassie taking the trip together. What? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Stop! That's my mom and my uncle. So? Not like they're cousins or anything. <gasps> oh, get out of here. Go. Hey, it's really scary. Now you tell me if Josh behaves himself, because if not, I might have to report him to my mommy. I don't think so. I'll catch up with you later, Professor Randall. Are you tired? Here, why don't you sit? I feel great. Giving birth is super cardio. I should oh. do it all the time. I can't believe your body snapped back into shape so fast. I know, right? And look what we get out of it. He is so perfect. Yeah. I just hope we don't screw him up. No, we won't. Nothing could go wrong. We're a family. <laughs> you have made me so happy, Lizzie. <sighs> I think he looks just like you. I've got nicer hair. <laughs> Coop's baby, please. It was only one time with Jonathan. It was only once. What was just once? You shouldn't creep up. It freaks people out. Yeah. So you were saying just once? Yeah, uh, just once. I'd like some warning before you ambush me. Oh, well, my carrier pigeon flew the coop. <laughs> You're not the reason I'm here anyway. But, <clears throat> while I'm here, how about we straighten a few things out? What things? First of all, you can't run your mouth every time we're around Tammy. 
It happened once. Well, obviously, it doesn't matter how many times it happened. None of that matters. You sleep around a little bit more, you'll figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll just make that my new hobby. Well, you're pretty good at it. Listen to me. It never happened. That is great, Jonathan. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Poof! It didn't happen. I wish it never happened, because I'm not going to let you ruin my life. What's going on? Lizzie, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Just keep him away from me. that about? Who knows? Said two words to her, she freaked out. What did you say? Hi and Lizzie. You saw her at Coop's party, she's totally wrecked. It's like she's never been dumped before. Oh, well, I don't think she ever has. Well, there you go. Yeah, maybe that's it. <clears throat> so, did your mama stop by? Yeah, I am. Did Lizzie seem sick the whole time she was talking to you? Because for a minute there, it looked like she was ready to pass out. No, she was fine. She, I told you we should stay away from that freak. So, was Joshua with Cassie? And were they thrilled that I wasn't there? They didn't even say anything about you. Oh. They're going to fix up Cross Creek for Aunt Reva. Oh, that's cool. She really seemed out of it. Cassie? Lizzie. Oh. So then your mom's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Oh, she sold her half of the beacon. Uh-oh. That was really random. Mm-hmm. But she seems happy about it, so. You want to go back? Actually, um, I'm going to hang out here and meet some people for a study group. You're more than welcome to stay. It's macroeconomics, supply, demand, all that fun stuff. <laughs> I'm bored already. <laughs> I'll see you back at the bar. Yes. Cool. Lizzie's. Wow. So babies are, they're like the greatest gift ever. Absolutely. Even when Jude and Leah were just tiny little babies and there were dirty diapers everywhere and all of that crying and Sp and they're spitting up on your favorite shirts. But the women, the women take care of all of that. Oh, oh, I'm really? just kidding. Yeah. Yes, the men, the, <laughs> the men jump in there every occasionally. Thank you. Know, so You've actually you been helpful. I, I, I have been. Yeah, I mean okay. this whole pregnancy thing. It, I feel like I'm on top of it now. Good. Good. What about uh, what about your condition? My condition. The nausea. Do you need any help with that? No, I. I feel better, actually. Talking to you made me feel better. You did? Oh, yeah. Oh. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Okay. Listen, come to Uncle Rick if you have a problem, okay? Okay, Bye, I will. Sweet. Bye. Bye, sweet. Lizzie? Hey. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I, I feel fine. You dropped this before. Oh, my gosh. Thanks. I didn't even notice. I wow. thought I might find you here because you seemed kind of sick before. Yeah, it just hit me all at once, but I'm over it now. Thanks for the phone. Lizzie, about before. Um, really, I was just woozy. No, I mean you and Jonathan. You and he were fighting about something. Oh, yeah. Um, wow. I just, I just blew up at him for no reason at all. Tell him that I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's gotten into me. I've, I, it could be hormones. I don't know. I've been so back and forth with Coop, and it's made me really stressed out, and it won't happen again. I'm actually feeling a lot better now. Well, that was fast. Yeah, crazy, right? Did you ever have one of those moments where everything just clicked? Where all of a sudden you know exactly what you want and how you're going to get it and you can't believe that you didn't see it before? I guess. I think I just had one of those moments. But I have a ton of stuff that I have to do, so I've got to go. But thank you for bringing this back. I will see you later. again and uh, she said to tell you that she was sorry about before
And it's weird. Um, she was talking to Rick, and I, I didn't quite hear the whole thing, but it sounded like she said she was... <laughs> well, hello. I don't want to hear any more about Lizzie. your study group? Uh, it was okay. Um, I ran into Lizzie again, and, um, she told me to tell you she's sorry about before. And it, it's weird, um, she was talking to Rick, and I only heard part of it, but it kind of sounded like she was... Hey. I don't want to hear any more about Lizzie. better than the... I, I can't think of anything. I can't think at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. Remind me again why we haven't been doing this all along. Oh, you don't remember? Not right now. That doesn't matter because we're here. <laughs> Here's good. Here is very good. Come on. <clears throat> You know, I used to think that we would lose something. Like, um... Once we didn't have to hide anymore, like once it wasn't me and you versus your mom and the rest of the world. And? And... It's better now. It's better because I know that you're not going anywhere. Got that right. You know what you do to my head? <laughs> I get all these crazy thoughts running through my brain when I'm lying here with you. Am I old enough to hear these thoughts? Well, yeah, these thoughts, but I have other thoughts that are bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about these thoughts? These thoughts are things that I never thought about before, like, I don't know, future and plans. Future. A house. Kids. Like, no, yeah, I don't know. Mm. Oh, oh, you just reminded me what I was going to say when I came in about Lizzie. Why does Lizzie keep popping her little head into our conversations? It's just, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. What? I just, I overheard her saying some pretty bizarre stuff. Like what? Well, normally, I wouldn't think twice about anything she said. Well, I wouldn't think once. But this seemed real... Like, okay, I didn't hear everything, but when I put it together with some of the stuff that I've seen... What are you talking about? Lizzie wasn't feeling too well at Coop's party, right? Yeah, I wonder why. Well, but then again, today, I mean, you saw her outside of company. I was a little worried about her, so I followed her. I started talking to Rick at Cedars. And you thought she might be sick? I know it sounds crazy. It seemed more like she was pregnant. I know you don't like Lizzie, but if she is... What did you, um, hear her say? Well, I only heard the end. Uh-huh. I don't know, I, I heard her thanking Rick for the pregnancy info. That could have been a better mom, right? Yeah, it could have been. But then Rick was asking her about her nausea. Nausea? You know, like, morning sickness. It's all circumstantial, but, I mean, the look on her face when she saw me. It's really a hunch more than anything. A hunch? You have a hunch that Lizzie's pregnant. Crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Well, <clears throat> enough Coop must be bugging out. If he even knows. I mean, they've been broken up for a while. I don't even know how long it's been since they were together. It couldn't have been that long. Should I call her? I mean, she's got to be worried. 
You break up with the person you love and they move on and then you find out there's a baby? Yeah. Unless... Oh, my... What if the baby isn't Coop's? This is Lizzie. You know what to do. Hey, it's Jonathan. Here we have... Thinking about how lucky we are to be getting this second chance. Yeah, we are lucky. Nothing's gonna get in between us this time. Nothing. Maybe I should try Lizzie again. You know, she really is pregnant. God, who knows what's going through her mind right now, or even Coop's for that matter. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you should just, you know, give her some time to chill out and let her deal with what's going on. Maybe. I gotta. I gotta go. What now? Yeah, some business with a distributor. I, mean, I love you. You know that, right? Of course. Hurry back. I'm doing my best. Lock the door behind you. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Tammy has this crazy idea that you might be pregnant. Jonathan's a loser. He's a deadbeat who would lie, who would steal, who would threaten people if push came to shove. But would he? He would do all that and more for me. Um, okay, a little up. Just pick a spot! Why are you being such a crowd? Because <laughs> I don't get it. Reva went away on vacation and now she's back. Who cares? She's not just back. She's back with Josh. Oh, well, gee, let me, let me break out the jug. <laughs> <laughs> just hang it up. You know what? Hey. I got a better idea. Mm. Oh, but don't you see how romantic it is? Well, yeah, that's why I got off the ladder. No, we've got the land. We're just trying to get the money in place now. Uh, excuse me for one second. Uh, guys, uh, whatever you're doing, could you think about maybe not doing it on our couch? Appreciate that. Yeah, Mr. Kelly, look, I, I know you had a lot of respect for my father, and I... Uh, uh, this was his dream, okay? And now it's become my dream. If we can build this hospital, we will be helping many, many returning soldiers deal with their injuries and get on with their lives. It's a... I appreciate you saying that. I'm actually hoping that it will be the best thing I've ever done in my life. So can I have Wanda send you a proposal? Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Take care. Bye-bye. How are we doing? Slow going. Okay. Well, uh, I'd really like to help you out here, but uh, the fact is I've got to pick up Reva at the airport. Um, Jonathan, you ready for this? Show your mom a nice uh, welcome home? <laughs> you know me. Life of the party. <laughs> yeah, like mother, like son. I'll see ya. Oh, no fair. It feels fair to me. I want to finish this. You do? <laughs> no. I want to do what I always want to do when I'm on with you. So why are you stopping yourself? Josh and Reva could get back any minute. Fine. Damn family. Nice attitude. It's just... You really love this stuff, don't you? What? Celebrating, like making a party. Yeah, it's my mom's fault. You know, since we were always poor, she just always liked making things better. She turned anything into a celebration. I remember this one time came home from school and we made these little sandwiches out of graham crackers and icing and I asked her what was so special and she said, well, it's Wednesday. And Wednesday only comes around once a week. <laughs> you think I'm a sap? 
No, no. Come here. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe you are, but I love it. You're the only sap I've ever known. Don't, Ooh. don't. Wait for Uncle Josh. Yeah. Was Uncle Josh, and he said he and Reeve were held up, so you can go if we want to. What is this? Oh, nothing. Um, you want to get some coffee? Sure. So you're doing some research? Oh, there's Lizzie. We should say hi to her. Can we shoot ourselves in the head instead? Hey, what's up, Coopster? Looking a little green. Yeah, must have been something I ate. Speaking of which, honey, I am have a craving for one of those iced cookies. Now, I know he seems to be fighting it at the moment, but remember what we talked about. Keep up the pressure, make him realize how hard this will be to do separately, and make him fall in love with that baby. And then he's going to realize... Then he's still in love with me. Oh, right, sweetie. <laughs> now, you need me, you call me. But I am going to be working on your grandfather, making him realize that our way is the right way. Well, you two better get going if you're going to make that appointment. She's right. We have our first sonogram today. Oh, well, do you have time for a cup of coffee? Not even if I wanted to. No caffeine, no alcohol. I wouldn't do anything to risk the health of my baby. Ready? Bye, guys. Well, hey, I'll get us some coffee. It's Coop's baby, not yours. I was already pregnant before I slept with you. No caffeine, no alcohol. I wouldn't do anything to risk the health of my baby. Good for Lizzie. She's really taking this whole pregnancy thing seriously. Isn't that bizarre? What? Lizzie, talking about sonograms and not drinking, her baby coming first. I don't know, it's just weird. Yeah, well, chicks get knocked up all the time. It's just the thought of her being a mom, you know? Don't you think there's something surreal about it? I haven't thought about it, period. You saw my notes, didn't you? What? In my book, what I had written on that piece of paper that you read. Yeah, some of it. It wasn't for school, it was for me. Oh, I figured that. <laughs> and I figured that you'd talk about it if you wanted to. I was going to. It's just... I don't know. Lizzie's pregnancy, it's got me thinking, you know? Like, what would happen if I... If we... Had a kid? You don't... What? No, no. Not right now. <laughs> not anytime soon, but... I don't know. Someday I might. We might. And we are... Cousins. Half cousins. So, uh, what did you find out? Well, um, it turns out that the risk of birth defects for um, cousins having babies is only about 1% higher than with non related couples. So, and something like 20% of couples worldwide are cousins anyway. 20%? And we're only half, so. Half, right, right. I know. Oh, I knew this would freak you out. No, it's just... I... I don't care about the statistics. Nothing would make me leave you, ever. I guess it just made me feel better, you know? Good. That's all that counts. So, have you thought about being a father? Why are we even talking about this? You don't have to. No, it just seems like everywhere I go lately, everybody's talking about kids, always. Everywhere you go? But like today with Lizzie? Yeah, let's just forget it, okay? You don't want to be a dad, do you? I don't know. With my life? I don't either. Not right now. Just... Someday. 
okay, well, if that's something that you want, then when that day comes, we'll deal with it. But for right now, I just want to be here with you, you know? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. The baby is way off in the future. More research. Stock market analysis. Boring. Were you hoping for more stats? What, about the cousin thing? No. I have everything I need to know right here. I just can't scare you away, can I? Mm. If anybody's going to be doing any scaring around here, it's going to be me. <laughs> well, you don't scare me. Anyway, listen to me. Uh, For the record, I don't care about your childhood or Nate or any of that stuff. If you want to be a good dad, you will be. Someday. Yeah, me. I'm sorry. If Lizzie weren't pregnant, I wouldn't be thinking about this stuff so much. Me either. Look, I'll stop. Promise? Promise. I have to keep reading anyway. Well, you could do that later. No, I have a test tomorrow. I'll quiz you in the other room. Guarantee me an A? Well, you're gonna have to earn it. <laughs>